Country star Kane Brown and his wife Caitlyn Jay were secretly involved for a long time, and it's shocking what Caitlyn did to help Kane get famous. Their love story is honestly pretty crazy. One of country music's sweetest love stories began in a pretty unbelievable way. Kane met Caitlyn backstage at a concert he did in Florida in 2015. They should have met the year before. Unfortunately, fate had other plans, but Kane and Caitlyn shared a crazy connection. The night that Kane returned to Florida in 2015 to do another concert, a guy who knew both Kane and Caitlyn thought it would be a good idea for them to meet. Although Caitlyn admitted something shocking later. She had no interest in going to a concert and meeting Kane, but the guy who knew Kane basically forced her to go. Kane knew about it and he thought it was funny. The guy told him he had to meet Caitlyn. It would be great to hear Kane say that it was love at first sight for him and Caitlyn, but it wasn't. At least, it didn't seem to be. You won't believe what happened the first time Kane and Caitlyn met. According to Kane, they didn't talk at all. In recent interviews, Kane revealed just what happened that night he met Caitlyn, and what Kane confessed is shocking. He said that the first time he looked at Caitlyn, he felt really weird inside. He described it as a feeling of shy giddiness. Kane said he had no clue why he felt that way, and he didn't know what was going to happen next. Still, he later admitted how he felt deep down. He thought that Caitlyn was adorable. Kane said that he caught himself doing something all night. He kept staring at Caitlyn, and he did something unbelievable. Although he knew that he was interested in Caitlyn, he barely said a word to her. Kane admitted that he only said hey to Caitlyn when they first met, but he wanted to know more. He found out that Caitlyn lived in Orlando, and when they met at the concert, she was just working in Miami. But the very next night, Kane realized something crazy. He couldn't get Caitlyn out of his mind, so he did something shocking. Out of the blue, he messaged Caitlyn on Instagram, and you won't believe what Kane said to her. He literally just messaged her, hey, when are we going to hang out? That sounds crazy enough, but Kane did something even more shocking. He asked Caitlyn to stop what she was doing and come to Nashville to hang out with him. And it didn't end there. Kane arranged for Caitlyn to fly across the country to visit him in Nashville. And when they met again, Kane couldn't believe how he felt. He confessed that he and Caitlyn hit it off immediately, and you won't believe what happened next. According to Kane, Caitlyn arrived in Nashville and she just never left. That's shocking considering that these two didn't have much to say to each other the first time they met. But Kane and Caitlyn became inseparable in Nashville. The chances of that happening aren't great until you realize that Kane and Caitlyn had actually a lot in common. Remember how I told you that they were supposed to meet but it didn't happen until a year later? That's because a new artist was filming a music video in 2014. It was happening the same night that Kane was performing in Florida. If you're wondering who the new artist was, well, it was actually Caitlyn's new music video. And the guy who introduced her to Kane was producing Caitlyn's music. That's the guy who forced her to attend Kane's concert in 2015. The producer figured the two of them would hit it off, and he was right. So when Caitlyn met Kane, she was already well on her way to having a successful music career. She was born Caitlyn Crap, but she was going by Caitlyn J in her music career. Caitlyn was working hard at creating her own music in Miami. Maybe that's why she wasn't crazy about meeting up with Kane to begin with. But after they met, something about Kane made Caitlyn change her tune. And once she came to Nashville to visit Kane, Caitlyn found out something shocking. Kane was leaving Nashville soon. He was set to begin touring in 2016, and you won't believe what Caitlyn agreed to do. She decided to join Kane on tour. Now, if that sounds glamorous, wait for it. Kane wasn't a big star yet, and the tour bus was pretty cramped. It's shocking what Caitlyn had to put up with going on tour with Kane. She since revealed that Kane had nine other musicians traveling with him. Caitlyn said that they were all guys. She was the only girl. And you won't believe this, Caitlyn and Kane had to share a bed on the bus. If that sounds romantic, listen to this. All the beds on the bus were bunk beds. And Caitlyn revealed that the beds were all tiny. Caitlyn described crazy stuff about her life on the road with a bunch of guys. According to Caitlyn, when she and Kane climbed into the tiny bunk bed, they couldn't even move all night because it was just so cramped. And they weren't alone either. I don't even mean the nine guys on a tour bus. I mean Kane and Caitlyn's dog. Their dog had to share the tiny bunk bed too, and it stayed that way for over a year. At least Kane's tour was successful. He was opening for country supergroup Florida Georgia Line, and Kane's good luck continued after he fell in love with Caitlyn. His debut single, Used to Love You Sober, hit number one on the Billboard Country Charts, and a duet that he did with fellow country artist Lauren Elena hit number one too. That's great for Kane. And while Caitlyn was really happy for him, she gave up a lot to help him get famous. It's shocking that they managed to keep their relationship private too. Apparently, some of Kane's fan base would not have been happy about him being in love. In January 2017, Kane dropped a bombshell on social media. His Facebook post got really personal. He confessed that the past year of touring had been tough. Kane wrote, A lot of people might get mad. I'm in a relationship. But then he added, If you're a true fan, you won't. Then Kane made the shocking announcement. His post said, Luckily, I have found my other half. And what Kane said about Caitlyn was pretty sweet. He said that Caitlyn kept him sane and happy. Then Kane made it official. He said that Caitlyn was his girl. It was a massive step for Kane and Caitlyn, and a couple months after confessing his big news on Facebook, Kane had another shocking surprise prepared. But it didn't turn out the way he'd planned. Kane wanted to propose to Caitlyn. He wanted to make a huge deal of it. Kane said that the proposal was supposed to be all flowery and romantic, but one night, in the spur of the moment, he just kind of changed his mind. Thankfully, Kane did not change his mind about proposing to Caitlyn. He just got too excited to wait for the big event he had planned. So the day before he was set to propose, Kane did another crazy thing. 
He sat down with Caitlin and they started to watch a movie. It wasn't a romantic movie or a chick flick, it was a scary movie called The Amityville Horror. I still can't believe Kane thought that was a good idea. He then popped the question to Caitlin in the middle of the horror movie, and she said yes. Then at the 2017 CMA Awards, Kane and Caitlin did something special. They walked the carpet as an engaged couple for the first time. And October 12, 2018 was a big day for Kane and Caitlin. They got married in a beautiful country setting outside Nashville, and they decided to have kids fairly soon into their marriage. But after all the struggles early on in her relationship with Kane, and after giving up her own music career, Caitlin found her way back to music. She decided to pursue higher education in music management, and you won't believe what Caitlin did. She enrolled in the prestigious Berklee College of Music, and she finished her degree while she was pregnant with her first baby. But you can still hear Caitlin's beautiful voice on a track. She and Kane released a smash hit duo named Thank God last year. It's about their unbelievable love story and how happy they are to have found each other. And I just really hope that Kane and Caitlin do more songs together. But what do you guys think? What do you think about Kane Brown's music? Have you heard his duet with Caitlin? 